So the egg timer challenge then, what's that? Well, it's meant to be a set of daily or thereabouts short mathematical questions, problems, which you would aim to answer in the time it would take to boil an egg. Now, it is aimed primarily at pupils in UK schools who are going to be taking the UKMT mathematical challenges. But it also forms a set of short, consistent questions that MT could have a go at on a daily basis for some interest or amusement. Now, the UK MT challenge then, mathematical challenge, well, that's the UK MT, the UK Mathematical Trust, which organises these mathematical competitions for all schools in the UK in three sets. There's the junior, the intermediate and the senior. And they all have the same format of 25 short multiple choice questions to be answered in a certain time depending on the level. And importantly, no calculators. Now you can check out the activity of the UKMT online, so I'm not going to go into that because I don't have anything to do with them. I'm just going to use some of their later questions. Now they do other things in relation to mathematical challenges such as their line of publications. They've got a set of books, such as this one here, Introduction to Number Theory, or this one here, Plain Euclidean Geometry. Notice they're all of a consistent size and thickness, more or less, and price. They're all £15 each. Hmm, maybe just a wee bit expensive at £15 for the amount that's in it. Nevertheless, the aim behind these books is to improve your performance in mathematical challenges should you so desire. They're quite nice and tactile though, nice wee size. Now for the Senior Mathematical Challenge, there are 25 questions to be answered in 90 minutes, so that's a bit over three and a half minutes each. However, the questions are graded, they're easy and quick at the start, and they get longer and harder towards the end. These questions are worth four marks each, so that's 100 marks altogether, but there's one mark off for a mistake. So to avoid negative scores, then there's a, a base of 25 marks for everyone to start with. That makes the total out of 125. But they don't expect MD to be able to get all the way to the end in 90 minutes. And in fact, the questions are sort of grouped as there's the first 15 which you should concentrate on, make sure you get those correct, then there's the final 10, but even those final 10 are sort of split as the first five and the five at the end. And there's a reason for that, because there are certificates awarded to the top 60% in the ratio of 3 to 2 to 1. So the top 10% get a gold certificate, the next 20 get a silver, and the next 30 get a bronze. And look at the marks required for that top 10% from the statistics from previous years. It's round about the high 80s, which when you divide it out is equivalent to just getting the first 15 or 16 correct which is why they say concentrate on the first 15 questions, make sure you get those ones right. There is a level above gold, which is only available to the top thousand, which must be, just guessing, less than 1% of entrance. And those that get into the top thousand get an entry into the first level of the British Olympiad. And the average score for that seems to be in the 105s to 10, round about say 108. Now that's equivalent to getting the first 21 questions correct. So even at that level, they don't expect you to get all the way to the end, which leaves those final questions at the end, which never get done it seems. So that's the ones I picked, and that's why I've called them the ones at the end. Now you should give yourself a fixed time here, and you could use your phone. Set the time on the phone for four, three, four, five minutes or so and aim to get it done within that. But no calculators, no phones, your phone's got a calculator on it. Instead of that, you could use one of these. This is a nice little item I just got hold of there. Little egg timer made up of these three sand timers. Our glasses here. One each for three, four and five minutes. Intended for soft, medium and hard boiled but they could be used instead for gold, silver and bronze. Under three minutes, give yourself a gold. Under four minutes, give yourself a silver. 
under five minutes, give yourself a bronze. One five minutes, well, try harder than the next one. Quite an elegant little unit there. I got it off Amazon for about, it was about nine pounds something. Probably nearer ten pounds, actually. But it's quite well made. And it's much more tactile and visual than a, than a timer because you can see the time passing. You can see how much has passed and you can see how much is still to go and you can see your relative levels of what you might be getting closer to. Just a nice little item of thought. But I saw somewhere with the UKMT that you can use the material, you can copy it and use it in classrooms for revision or practice purposes. But in publications they just give permission for three questions and their solutions to be reproduced. Well I'm not going to use their solutions at all. I'm just going to provide my own solutions there because there is a difference between solutions that have to be written out formally like in a written mathematical challenge and ones where you're trying to do a multiple choice where you wouldn't necessarily have to set it all out formally with annotations and so on and explanations because that'll be done verbally when I go over it by pointing and talking and so on. So I'll not be using the solutions but I will be using the questions but I've taken the liberty of going to five of these questions. I don't think this actually counts as an online publication anyway. And who knows how many might be watching, very few, apart from you. And it is more a sort of classroom situation than anything else. Anyway, still, that's what it's all about. Have a go.